Good evening, everyone, my fellow gents. This is Black Irish. Welcome back to the Man Cave. All right, tonight we're bringing back the fire. The fire is coming out tonight. Anton is, he's lit. Let's find out what's going on with him today. You think, no, no, no. Let, let's be, let's, let's, let's really We're peel the Band-Aid off. Praxis, let's Praxis, peel, Praxis, let's peel the Band-Aid off all Chris the way. Let's peel Praxis, the Band-Aid off all the way. I go to work every Medicaid. fucking day. I pay Praxis more taxes than I have Medicare, to. Not Medicare, not Medicaid. No, 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 no. Because now you want to overtalk me. Now you want to overtalk me. It's just the same old game over and over again. You can't shut up. You can't listen. You want to talk as much as you like. But the moment that it gets colorful, all of a sudden now, now all of a sudden you can't respect people's, you know, a time to speak. It's BS. I pay more than I have to because I have to I have to take care of a group of people. I have to now be responsible for bad decisions that women make because they they fed into feminism and they sold themselves out. They sold their souls to the white woman be, to, to fuck up their families. And now they're they trying to remove themselves from holding themselves accountable. Yep. That's it. That's actually it. You went to feminism, took the white woman's lie, ran with it, destroyed the community, kept breeding with the worst. Destroyed it even more. What else? So many things. And nobody wants to call you out and say it. But the honest truth is, you won't take responsibility for it. For the people that they open up their legs to. I got to pay for that shit? Is my fault? I wish we lived in a world if I had a child, other people would pay for it. I wish I had that ability. Because I live in a society where the, y'all and y'all pick the fucking president. Y'all policies, you pick these dumbass politicians. Y'all making all of the decisions of what's going on in the, comp- in the country. And now y'all want to remove all responsibility that comes along with it. Y'all pick the politicians. Y'all the, de- y'all the determining factor for whether or not we're going to have these fucked up policies that's going on. We got, all these, we got all of these stupid Democrats in office. Continuing to raise the taxes so we, we can pay for these badass kids and we can continue to fund the prison industrial complex that y'all breeding them in. And I have to be responsible for it? Come on, man. At some point, y'all gonna have to look in the mirror and take responsibility and say, yo, we gotta do better as a community of women. Because even if every single guy that is a good guy decide that they want to exercise dick, dick, dick discipline, the majority of the dudes that y'all picking to have kids with is the worst of society. Yep, and that's also it. You have no one to blame. You know that they're no net goods. Like, you know that. You know they're not good for anything except for fun. Why do you still go out with them? You know the track record. This has been going on since the 70s. The Pookies and Ray Rays have been around since the 70s. Nothing's changed. So what exactly is the reason why you would still pick these men over the other men that would actually be suitable fathers? And then y'all want to come on later and say, hey, B-Boys Watkins and save us. Fuck y'all and y'all kids and everything that them kids stand for. Because it's not my responsibility and you need to own that shit and suck that shit up. Go to work. Do whatever you got to do like a man got to do. Because let me tell you something. The family court law, they don't even care about whether or not the man can afford it. If he don't come up with that money, he going to jail. I don't see that happening to women. That's another thing. Let's be real. When was the last time you heard of a woman going to jail for a lack of child support? When was the last time you heard of a woman getting in trouble because she can't take care of her child? You don't hear it often, but you'll hear about the deadbeat dad syndrome and these men ain't good enough to raise these poor children so badly that they have to always send the children to be living with the mother. Okay, that's great. So you send them to live with the mother. She's a crack fiend. I'm not saying all, I'm just saying. They, she can be a crack fiend and still have more rights over that child 
than a father that has got his life together. He still has to he has to go to court and prove that he can be a father. She just gets handed it to him. Best thing for children. Y'all want equal, but it ain't equal. Because it ain't equal responsibility. It ain't equal in a family court law. And you know how I know it ain't equal? Because at the same time that y'all advocating for more feminism, more equal rights for equal play, y'all advocating against family court laws and updating the laws that wasn't even designated or, or allocated for y'all in the first place. It wasn't even meant for y'all. Y'all took advantage of the system. Y'all fucking up our community. It's y'all fault. They can so liter- no, no, no. Think about it. They can literally take a man's ne- make take a man Send and him to put jail. his name on a birth certificate in order to get benefits Mm-hmm. for it and he's responsible for that child here's another thing if she wants to forge his name on there he's got to prove it's not his and still have to pay child support now personally i think every man when that child's born get a blood test i don't give a crap what anybody says stop letting them bait you into just signing away your life don't sign up for no to be no stepfather because women mother, single mothers nowadays do not have the respect to be able to get a, a brand new man fresh off the batch. No. Don't take care of their kids. That's not your responsibility. All you're doing is enabling them to be. What's a nice way to say this? All you're doing is giving them an out for their bad decisions. And as far as you getting someone pregnant, get a blood test before you sign any paperwork. Make sure you do that. I don't want to hear, oh, you don't trust me? No, we don't trust each other enough. Not in this day and age. You're allowed to do whatever you want and without scrutiny. So, yes, you're gonna, we're going to get a blood test. If it's a problem, I'm walking right out the door. Even if the, even if the federal government know that it's not his kid. Fact. It's men going to jail today for child support for kids that's not even theirs. Not even theirs. That's crazy. And y'all want to sit here and have conversations with us about responsibility? First, you're going to have to come to the table in honesty and in truth and being real about the situation that y'all putting these guys in and y'all putting yourselves in. Y'all can't even come and be honest with who y'all are and y'all want us to be able to support y'all and protect y'all and hold y'all down and marry y'all. And then y'all wondering why black pe- why black men is divesting themselves against these women? What makes you think that they want to be with y'all and y'all not even honest with yourselves and coming to the table honestly? We don't even ask nothing from y'all. We don't ask y'all to do nothing for us. We don't ask y'all to bring money to the table. We don't ask y'all to support us. We don't ask shit from y'all. All All we are is behind the eight ball because we continue to subject ourselves to the very person that we lay next to is really our enemy because they won't even be honest with what it is that they bring into the table. You bring in lies, deceits, irresponsibility, and you're looking to get a, you're looking to get saved and you're looking to retire. All they do is use us. They don't actually add value. You want to know what's really wrong with the black community is that the woman is out of her purpose and she's not a help meet no more. Yep. She's the enemy. She's more of an enemy than the white man ever has. Boom. He said it first, folks. Gentlemen, that's exactly what it is. And it doesn't matter how many times anyone tries to explain it, turn the story, flip it around, whatever you want to do. They became the right-hand man of the you-know-who. She's more of an enemy than anybody in history has ever been to the black community because she's the very person that comes in with deceit and looks to use you and then then disperse of you when she's done with you. And then she'll move on when it's all all said and done and then say, well, what about the kids? Fuck the... Look at her face. She's just so ready to fight and argue this. That energy you can see in a video from the 70s. It was the same type of energy. That refusing to, refusing to submit, refusing to work together. It's me, 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 me. And I'm going I'm to I'm pull up that video when I get a chance next time. But that's ridiculous. Look at her. She is ready to f- go to war. She can't even submit. They'll submit to their boss. They'll go to their job and do everything their boss tells them to. They may even get mad about it in the end. They say, oh, I'm tired. I got to do all this. But guess what you did? You did it. That was your boss, a total stranger, but he holds your life in his hands. Because if you don't do what he says, you get fired. Women don't have fear of losing a man anymore because they know they can just get another one. And they don't have to worry about losing money because you don't pay anything when you get work, when you get married. But you get paid when you get divorced. They know this. That's why they don't value men anymore. And they they listen to a government that has forced this idea into their heads to believe in that this is totally, totally acceptable. 
They drank the Kool Aid. Kids and fuck that woman too. I Throw that hoe out with the bathwater. Throw can't the baby out with the bathwater. Start the fuck over. Get a whole new group of women, and then, and then fix the community that way. And I agree with that. I've always been saying this: there is no hope. The only hope is to get rid of the people who are the problem. Put them on an island. Separate yourself. Don't do anything. Don't help them. Don't give them a leg up. Nothing. Let them sink to the bottom. Let them give them a boat. Let them sink in the ocean. And start up because this whole problem will never stop. Because all we do is while we're trying to build, we put everyone else that doesn't know how to build or know how to be civilized. They all get pushed into the same area. And they get conjoint with us. So the ignorance and the blacks all get together and the, everyone just sees nothing but ignorance because the ignorance got the biggest mouth saying the dumbest things and they do everything destructive. Oh, it's real. No, I'm not the problem real. in the community. I'm married to my woman. I've been married for almost 19 years. I never had a child out of wedlock and I still got to look at my paycheck and say, who the fuck is these little kids? That I'm actually for knows. Us? Fellas, the minute that y'all realize that she is literally a representation because she's I don't the one care that, if you can stereotype me all you want to, Anton. I'm not gonna let you. You didn't even that. let me finish what I was gonna, gonna say. And this is this is one of, this is another reason. This is moment. another reason why men tend to Go walk ahead, away from the table. Clip, clip no, because this, moment, this is another right? reason because it's funny because you asked okay. me for respect and I let you talk. I literally no, shut it, the it, panel. It, no, it, I shut it, the panel down. Now listen, who wants to who wants to deal with this argumentative woman? There's too many of them that like this. Just all ready to fight. I I can't do it. I I could not deal with any more American women. Nope, can't do it. These modern women are out of control. I can't. She's just so ready to fight. She's not even listening. She has no idea what he's saying. She's just ready to fight, ready to scream and prove herself. Oh no 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 no. Listen to what he's saying before you react. I, I was stopping yeah. Boozer. I stopped Mr. Let Go. I asked Ali to hold off. And I said, hey, y'all, let her finish her point. Now, mm -hmm. when I get passionate about something, you don't want to hear it because you feel like you're taking it personally. Right? No, you pointed. You said you. You are. And let me add the context. Okay. You are a representation of what it is that we not rocking with because you're the one that made the point. You standing on these principles, you advocating for this, and you also are, re are refusing to hold women accountable, which is your sisters, right? Because I hold my guys accountable. I push for the things that's best for our community, and I'm also a representation of what I would like to see, right? But when you say certain things, and I'm not talking about you and your personal situation, because I don't okay. know your situation, but you're a representation of it because you're espousing all of these talking points that's bad for the community. And so when I say you're the problem, I'm talking also about your mentality. And that's why you got to listen, pay attention. You can't be always ready to fight. Not ready to listen. Men listen. Men are logical. Women are emotional and get all bent out of shape. Why do you think so many of these kids that are born in single mother homes, homes act the same way? They all act the same way. Emotional. Ready to fight. Do dumb stuff. It's like when a man, a real man goes to the police. He knows how to handle himself and, and conduct himself appropriately. A boy or a man raised by a woman is going to act irrationally. I'm not saying be a coward to police, but you got to understand. They're going to look at you completely. They're going to look at Tyrell a lot differently than they're going to look at Timmy. And men and black men know this. So you carry yourself in a certain way. But this is the problem. Nobody wants to listen. Everyone wants to, just wants to keep screaming and yelling. And then when the, you want to say whatever you want, and then when someone says something to you, you want to stop them. You want to, cut, you know, cut the the conversation short. No, we talk. You don't may not like all the things we're gonna say, but we're gonna talk. But then you don't want to hear about it. You're not about that life, and that's a problem. That's the problem. I give it up. I say just let them sink, and ev and everyone else. We're gonna build a better world. Because this has been going on since the 70s and nothing's changed. It's ridiculous. Every other race can have their women submit. 
This is the only group that doesn't know how to do this. So masculine, too loud, makes poor decisions for fathers, for their children, but yet want to blame all the men that they don't want to, quote unquote, that they don't want. If you don't want these men, why do you complain that they won't help you? Oh, that's right, because they're your backup plan. They're the ones that you're expecting to take over when you're 300 pounds, credit card with legs walking around your apartment, and you have pretty much no desire to do any of the things that you were doing back in the day when you were young. You make every excuse, say, oh, well, that was my past. I was a wild child and all that other stuff. Okay, well, good luck with your future endeavors. Oh, just because I won't do these things? Yep, that's exactly what it is. I'm not getting secondhand goods at secondhand price. You want me to pay full price for secondhand goods. I'm not going to pay money for a half drink of a gallon of milk. I'm not going to do it. You may not like that, but that is what it is. You're creating this world and you want us to join in and do all this wonderful stuff. I don't want your kids. I want my kid. My son is going to have a great life. And me and his mother, for as long as we work together, and we're going to plan to keep working together because all we can see our do, ourselves doing is working in a positive light to do the complete opposite of what the other, what the ignorance have been doing all this time. Two parent household, raising our child together. This isn't some fantasy world. This isn't some fairy tale. This is a job. We signed a contract. And in this contract, we love each other, but that is only a byproduct. We are here to work hard with a little bit of playtime, but we are here to work hard and make sure our child has a good life. So we're on the line. We just thought that having a child was okay and and that's all you needed. No, you need two parents that understand that this is not a joke. You have a little version of yourself that's walking around and he needs his guidance. And the single mother nonsense isn't going to work, especially in the black community. It's horrible. We need to stop pretending that this isn't the problem and face the problem. That's enough out of me today. Like, share, subscribe. And all my fellow Man Cave members, have a good night. Remember, the Man Cave is always open.